Water governance is essentially about uh, who gets what water, when and how. Uh, usually we also say that water governance is very much about the quality of institutions in the water sector, as well as the quality of the relationships between different stakeholders. Uh, water governance is important for several reasons. Uh, improved governance can mean a more equitable sharing of water. It can also mean more efficient utilization of water. It can also mean more uh, environmental sustainability, uh, as well as uh, stakeholders have access to different types of political processes. The water sector faces many challenges, uh, both related to uh, how to share a, a dwindling natural resource uh, between different uses in society. Uh, so it's both an issue of the quantity of water, uh, but also a water quality issue, and that we are facing situations of increasing water pollution. Uh, what has happened the past 10 years in the water sector is that uh, the challenge of resolving water issues is increasingly focusing on governance. And it's often being said that uh, the water crisis is really a crisis uh, about governance. I think uh, there is a lot of things being done to improve governance around the world. Uh, many countries, they are going through uh, quite uh, intense water reform, for example. Uh, <clears throat> but there are still uh, huge issues around implementation and actually how to implement uh, these new water strategies and water reforms around the world. CV works on, on many fronts uh, uh, to conceptually develop uh, how we work on governance, uh, especially when it comes to how to apply it in a very practical way. Uh, basically how we can support uh, country implementation. So CV does uh, a lot of, uh, on policy advice, technical services, uh, directly to governments. We also produce a lot of uh, knowledge uh, within CV uh, that is widely disseminated. And we also develop different types of assessments uh, on water governance. I think one of the uh, greatest future challenges for water is a widening gap between the demand for water and the supply of water. Uh, this is especially true for uh, economies in transition, uh, countries like uh, Brazil, China, India, for example. These are eco economies that has grown very rapidly over the last 10 years. On the other hand, there is also a changing supply uh, of water due to impacts of climate change. Uh, so I think uh, this is something that the water sector, as well as other sectors, uh, really has to deal with in, 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 a, in a very strong manner. Uh, there is a lot of things required to tackle this uh, widening gap between supply and demand. Uh, of course, infrastructure development is one critical element to continue to develop, as well as more financing and uh, increased uh, capacities within the water sector. But I would say that perhaps uh, the greatest uh, response would be uh, to improve governance. Uh, I think this is cr very critical to make uh, increased infrastructure, increased financing to happen in reality. 